What happened to Iggy Azalea? What? <laughs> what do you mean? What I'm happened to Iggy Azalea, oh, you guys? I love Iggy Azalea. Do you? Fell off the face of the earth. No, she's like judging X Factor in, in Australia. Australia. She fell right now. off the face of the earth. Bangs. Yeah, she's, no, she's no. down under. Well, she here's the thing. Under. The reason why wow. I'm asking this question is because three years ago, she had the number one song in the country. Fancy was like, you couldn't go anywhere without hearing it. You already know. It's I'll still in amazing. The from LA to Tokyo. Tokyo. <laughs> this We're is just gonna be a karaoke version of yep. the show. <laughs> um, but since then, it's not been a good journey for her. She's had a lot of music flops, she's had a lot of celebrity feuds. Poor Nick Young and her, they had a really tumultuous Poor release. Her. Poor He's her, a her dick. not him. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, and we don't. Karma's really, gonna bite him in the ass. Sorry. For sure. No, and and a lot of people in the rap community have been hating on her, mm -hmm. saying that she doesn't write her own music, saying that she's culturally appropriating, and it's not been an easy road. And and I don't really know what advice to give her if she were here asking us <laughs> advice. Can someone explain to me what what is? Why do people think she's culturally appropriating? I missed that whole she, controversy. Because I, she's a rapper. She's what a is rapper, the opinion? And she's a white girl. With a big, and also big, that she okay. So when you hear her talk, she has an Australian accent mm -hmm. and sounds like you would assume she sounds. When she's rapping, she kind of takes on like an accent mm -hmm. and like. Ah. The way she delivers it, people claim that she's appropriating how black people would be rapping. Got it. Right. And also there was a video that came out a couple of, maybe a year or so ago, of her from way back in the day trying to do music kind of like Kesha, where right. she was like fake singing a little bit. And so basically she tried to have a pop career that didn't happen. I think a so, lot of people, when they're singers, they try different styles exactly. until one of them hits. Exactly. So maybe rapping was just her forte. Well, I think people are just using it that's the easiest thing to attack for her, is she's a right. white female rapper. But do you think that the reason why she got such a bad rap is because she was so overexposed so quickly? Like, literally, fancy happened, problem happened, and then, like, everywhere you turn, the Rita Ora track, the Britney Spears song, the J-Lo song, Iggy Azalea was freaking everywhere? I think so, and I was I was really big fan of her when she first started, not when she first came out, when the pussy song came out, that was a little much for mm -hmm. my taste. Oh, I didn't hear that. That's a song. song. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I, I shouldn't like be saying word, this. So I don't like that. Come on, either. what else does it what else it, does it's the song really, say? It's really disturbing. We'll watch it later. <laughs> but um when Fancy came out and when she that video is like a remake of Clueless and it's really creative and I watched a bunch of interviews with her and we did an evergreen on Clever News that was like Ten things you didn't know about Iggy Azalea. Got millions of views mm -hmm. in the first day because no one knows her. anything about her and they want to know. And I liked her because you would watch these interviews and she seemed like she was really involved in the process of her music and her videos. Right. She would be sitting in the color correcting room helping decide the final looks of the video. But then... It went away so fast for She her. got, I think she got a big head too and that didn't help. It's like, oh, well, everyone loves me. I'm great. I have a number one song. And then she so kept fancy. going. And as soon as anything controversial came up, she was not, she didn't handle it very well. Yeah. She very would lash out yeah. and say things that yeah. then made her look, look really not bad. great. <laughs> well, she had to get off Twitter multiple times and I don't think having so many hits all at once is what necessarily hurt her because I think that could actually help somebody. I mean, look at Taylor Swift in the beginning. She got all of this success and kept gaining more and more and more it's until more than eventually I think something went when wrong. When you grow that fast, she doesn't know how to navigate being famous. Right. And yeah. doesn't have a PR com PR team like uh, watching her every move. And even if she does, that PR person can't shut her up when she goes on a rant on social media. <laughs> yeah. And she had to get off social media so many different times. And I just think people kind of had enough and then her music was kind of the same. Like it wasn't yeah. changing or evolving. And then it's just kind of like, oh, it's Iggy Azalea. And so. she also posted a couple of posts on Twitter that were very racist, very homophobic. Mm -hmm. I remember one post she posted about like kind of like shaking her head that a bunch of black guys got arrested in front of a Popeyes. Like she wasn't to be a part of that culture. She wasn't really trying to fit in and trying to like educate and be cool and like get to know it. It was like she almost made it a made a mockery of it. In some in some way or shape or form on Twitter. Right. My question, and this might get me a lot of hate, is if she's not writing her own songs, if she didn't write Fancy, Fancy is a really good song, and not because it's because of Iggy. That could have been any female well, rapper on it if she didn't write it. It's just a really good song. And I, that, yeah. 
That's the case with a lot of singers, but in the rap game, not so much. So like Nicki Minaj, all of these other rappers pride themselves on being the creative genius mm -hmm. behind their machine. So then when a rapper that is Iggy Azalea isn't necessarily writing her own raps Well, her I've songs. never heard Celine Dion talk shit about Britney Spears because Britney Spears doesn't have a True, but what he's saying, it's not. in the rap game, like it's very frowned upon not to be writing your own verses. Yeah. And Nicki has spoken up several times, like mm -hmm. you're never gonna hear a Nicki Minaj verse that Nicki Minaj did not write. Right. My problem is I don't think there was ever any actual proof that Iggy didn't write her stuff. It's just a rumor. Right. And people are just like, oh, that stupid white girl, she didn't write that rap. Like, it's basically, it's too good. Because counter to yours, I think everyone knows Britney Spears doesn't write her own stuff, whereas Iggy, it's a little unknown, and like Nicki Minaj yeah. will attack Iggy, because Nicki's, that's how well, Nicki got famous. If she's being it's compared, if they're being compared, being yeah. like, these are two well, of the hottest female <laughs> <laughs> um, two of the hottest female rappers, then Nikki's like, well, n obviously I'm at the top. I've been doing this. I've been part of the game for a while and writing all my but own stuff. But who cares? Nikki, you're not the only person in the world. Well, like, that's I'm sorry. kind of all, where all of Nikki's problems I want is, is it that <laughs> like, nobody wants to collaborate with Iggy because she just attracts so much drama and attention yeah. and negativity? It's yeah. Like nobody... well, and even I think there was weird stuff after the Britney Spears collaboration she that about. she claimed that she didn't, that I think she like kind of took a jab at Britney, that Britney didn't promote it as much as she should have. Did, right. they, did they do a song together? Yeah. yeah. yeah pretty, they did. Pretty Girls? It's called Pretty Girls. It's not good. All it's the not. Pretty, pretty Girls. girls. Pretty girls. girls. That's the entire uh, song. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> why I forgot it. it. The other thing is, it really does matter who you work with. So not even necessarily the public that is viewing Iggy, but who wants to work with her. So like yeah. producers, other singers, her reputation within the business kind of got tarnished, mm -hmm. and then that is another reason kind of why she fell But off. it's fascinating though because I I really think that the industry doesn't get to decide your popularity a la Taylor Swift. Like I feel like a lot of people are hating on Taylor Swift right now. She's going to be cashing those checks and people are going to still be buying her music. Shh. Iggy wasn't around long enough to do that though. I don't know if it was timing. I just, I feel like people felt, she was too, almost too honest with people. I feel like the most successful- Oh, she's the Donald Trump of, of I, rappers. I, yeah, I think the most successful artists- Let's not go, let's not put in that. a lot of themselves away, tuck it away, because it makes them more mysterious, yeah. you know? And she was She just was really like so all out in the open. She right feels away. more, and I think when people attack her, she feels it, and she expresses that she where a lot of people She a YouTuber. Yes. yes. She was, she started her That's first she should have stayed there. Well, no, and also, it, like, back to her when she kind of, like, attacked the paparazzi and people were like, yeah. well, that's what you get for being famous. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's not... I think that, like, wouldn't you want to be the producer that's responsible for her comeback, her next big song? Like, well, because she... I genuinely think she does have a lot of talent, regardless of whether people yeah. are going to continue But do you to... think she's actually going to be able to have a comeback? I worry that she'll never be as big as she was. Is it, like... I think she was on a trajectory that she's never going to be able to be on again. She peaked. I agree, but she is doing like the X Factor in Australia. I think if she just stays quiet for a little while and then lets her music speak for itself and she comes out with some really good singles and then Aww, has a good a PR team. I hope so. I do think there is hope. Yes. You know? Okay. Mm. Let's you're, talk about somebody optimist. else that has also disappeared. This is the end of this video. Let us know what you think <laughs> about all of it. And then you can click <laughs> over to the left to find out what happened to Lord or to the right to get all the details on Gigi Gorgeous coming out as a lesbian.